hello youtube welcome back to my channel so in this tutorial we'll continue with our flux api series so we're going to uh, continue to advance our app in this tutorial we're going to take care of the different status code errors that our application might draw we're going to create custom functions to deal with these specific errors so let me just show it if you know status code errors are. so these are different status, status code errors so they're just different codes that the server the api will return to the client that the client can figure out which kind of error happened for example you might go to some website and then you get a 404 and then it's written not found so a 404 is just a, a status code error that tells you that the the request that your resource the resource that you are requesting is currently not found on the server so for example if you type in the wrong url you might get a 404 error back okay so for example uh the the different status code errors for example 200 shows that everything is okay 404 shows that's not found 400 is a bad request and the different 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 of these errors so you just go and read about it and then you can uh, be able to write the different uh, functions to deal with the different errors but in this case i'm just going to implement the more, most common ones you can go ahead and actually implement it according to a use case and then you can uh, find uh, this online and you can read about the different uh, http status codes and then you can implement it based on your use case okay so let's get started so i'm in the folder where we are we're working from so i'm going to activate my virtual environment this is vnv for slash pin for slash activate so this will go and activate our virtual environment so now that it's activated i'm going to change my directory into application and then i'm going to open vs code okay i'm going to open vs code in my application in my terminal so this is going to open up visual Studio code, code and we can begin coding so this is where we left off from last time so let me just open the app this way we left we left off from last time and then we created our our to do api and then we simply created the crud functionality for it so in this tutorial we're going to continue and you're going to give it some uh, some uh, functionality to deal with uh, to deal with uh, with the error handling okay so let's get started so just uh, below the below the where we created the 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 schemas right so we're going to come down here and you're going to go ahead and just go ahead here and we're going to create um a status let's just call it status code errors yes we're going to handle those errors so for the first one we can be we can begin with uh the uh, the four 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 so for example let me just go back to uh uh um to postman so you can see i made a bad request and i got back for for error okay now we want to write a custom function to deal with such kind of errors okay so now if i make this request everything should uh uh our server is not running so i'm going to go ahead and actually start our server make sure i'm in the right directory i'm going to go source uh sorry sorry this is going to be uh, python 3 and then app.py and i'm going to start that server and i can go to for postman and then i can make request to this uh, route and then we can get back the request but if i type in something wrong uh, like a wrong url and i make the set request we get back a 404 now let's write a custom so now we can begin to write our custom uh, function that deals with the error so we need to use a decorator and if you know what a decorator is in python a decorator is just a function that takes in a callable as an input and basically returns a callable as an output that's what the fun uh, decorator is on a surface level now again i have a whole series on decorators on my youtube channel if you want to check that out you can check that out so i'm just going to say app dot um this is going to be error uh so this is going to be error uh error this should i get the spelling right so this is going to be error handler and then you're going to pass in the the, er the code that you want to handle so i want to handle maybe a 404 error so i'm going to handle a 404 error uh, and then i'm simply going to pass in a define i'm going to say handle handle and then i'm going to say handle underscore maybe a 404 underscore error okay so this is going to be 404 error and then you're going to say underscore it's going to take an underscore error and then it's simply going to return uh, sorry we're going to just uh, we can put in a dog string or stuff like that if you wish but it's simply going to, going to return uh, we're going to return this is going to be return type in return make make response so now we need to go up here and import make response so i'm going to go to flask here and i'm going to import make underscore response just like that so i'm going to import response here and i'm going to come down here to where we are and i'm going to say underscore uh, response and i'm simply going to pass in i'm going to say jsonify and i'm going to pass in a dictionary here okay so i'm going to pass in a dictionary and i'm going to, I'm going to type in error and then the error the status code for that error and again say that uh 
not not found right because it's a 404 error and then you can go and read about the status status code errors and then i'm simply going to say a 404 that's all so we're going to make a response and you're going to send back a json the with the with the, uh, with the value error and with the key with the with the with the key error and the value not found and it's going to be a 404 that's all we need to do so i'm going to save this right now go back to our uh, check if our development server is still running so we need to start our development server again so i'm going to uh, run that command again and then go back to postman and then make an error make a request and we see we simply got back a 404 not found so that is dealing with uh, dealing with the error for us so we can implement custom functions here maybe you want to uh, log this into a, into a file before sending the response whatever you want to do right but that's basically how uh, we write this uh, error handler so we can uh, what I see most people doing they have a doc string uh, defining this so let's just also include that so simply going to type in uh, we're going to type in maybe return uh, a 404 HTTP a code a status code let's say status code just like that so we're going to uh, have that right there so now now that we have that uh, that's all we need to do so I'm going to save this and then uh, make sure I get that right so that's actually three not four so I'm going to save that again and then we can make that request again and everything should work fine so we can write different for this only by changing the numbers here that we're returning we can write for different ones so I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to implement another one which is going to be a, uh, a 500 error so a 500 error is just an internal server error so if I have an internal server error we need to return a 500 uh, status code which uh, which signifies an internal server error so just going to say in here in uh, internal server error or card just like that so we're going to return an internal server error card and then this will be a 500 and then we make sure we change all the 400s to 500s okay this is going to be a 500 okay 500 okay we're gonna save that and then we can go back and then we can test our application so if we have an internal server error uh, this will be, is going to return that so for example I, I really cannot create an internal server error i haven't thought of that yet but you can go ahead and actually figure out a way that you can create an internal server error and then you, the, whenever you have that error occurs the 500 will be uh, read the, this this function will be triggered and it's going to return a, J, a json which error and then internal server error and then a status code of 500 so that's all we need to do about that so for example i'm going to start my server again and i'm going to show you something go back to my postman and then i can see uh, you can see here we can also see uh, make a request again so we can make a request and you can see that we have a 404 not found so that's the status code right 404 so you can check this different status uh, status code here if you're using postman so that's all with the rest to it so now i'm just going to go to my github page right and i'm going to copy the rest of the error the rest of the error so i'm going to copy a 500 uh 401 and then other stuff like that a 404 we already de dealt with that and then also dealt with 500 so i'm going to copy this but the same process the process to create it is just as very similar so i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it here and, and that's all we need to do save this and then i can start my development server again it's already running and then we can uh, uh make this error again is everything is working fine so that's uh, how we deal with basically we deal with different uh, status code errors using app uh, fl in flask so this uh when we have, we have we have a 401 which stands for we can check it out from here a 401 deals with uh unauthorized uh access whenever a person maybe authentication is required a 401 error will be returned and then that uh, function will be called which is just going to return whatever you are specified in there so that's how we deal with the uh, uh, different errors so that's all i wanted us to discuss in this tutorial so if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so see you in the next one thanks for watching keep safe